the prophet Hosea spoke these words. My people are destroyed for the lack of the knowledge of God. And still today, these words ring true. Introducing W.C. Hunt, pastor of the world's church of the living God in Chattanooga, Tennessee. For the next half hour, we invite you to experience the words of knowledge broadcast. You know, we're going to talk about trials. What do they mean? What are they good for? What does it mean? What are they good for? Are they good for anything? You never will accomplish. Now listen to me now. Listen to me carefully. You never will accomplish a big success in any way unless a giant be put in your life. You ask God to bless you, to exalt you, to do this for you and, wait, and help you through, want you to become successful, whatever. God said, okay. There arise a Goliath. <laughs> I didn't ask for the trial. I didn't ask for that. What you ask to be successful? He puts a Goliath in your life. He lets one keep creep into your life. And you have to have the wisdom, and that's why he said get wisdom. You have the wisdom, the knowledge to get through it. And to overcome him, yes. cut his head off, yes. and put it on a platter. Yes, they tried to overcome me. They tried to stop me. Fifty years ago, tried to stop me. Yes, we'll give you a parable instant. All you mothers know how it feels to have a, a child. You know how I feel, how child. Nine months, closer to nine months, the more pain, right? The more pain, you know it's, it's time for the child to be delivered. Now, I'm saying a category, I'm sure I'm going to category to try to get you to understand and paralyze. Wonder what the child be seeing. wonder what it'd be saying nine months of cooling it <laughs> not have to work getting fed every, fed from his mama and, and go to sleep when he get ready <laughs> laying cooling it Y'all need mothers, you don't know what would be happening in your belly. Cooling it. Cooling it. Nine months, just nothing to worry about. Just cool, there ain't nothing to worry about. Just relax. Mama had to stay up half the night because you kicking. <laughs> then all of a sudden, Water break. Been floating around feeling comfortable. Then you feel something pushing, trying to push you out your comfort zone. Push you out your what? Mama going? Mama going to just? She she's trying to uh, get rid of me uh, and push it hard. She's trying to get rid of me. Oh. Mama's try to get you into this world. And then when you get out, you look around. She's going to push him out in this strange world. I don't know what to do. But holler. Ah! (laughs) 
I'm trying to show you a parable. Sometimes God push you. Push you. Push you. And you get all disturbed. What's happening? Your child's too heavy. God's trying to get you where you belong. He's going to get you to your highest potential. He know where you can go. He yes, know sir. what you can do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He know the heights that you can climb. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> but you really cop out and be in a comfort zone. <laughs> and don't have no responsibilities. I don't got, I got no responsibility. But when God push you out through trials, you, you're going to have to take responsibility. Yes, sir. Yes, you're going to go down the drain. Yes, and you never fulfill your highest potential. <laughs> and every one of you, you're here for a purpose. Yes, I know I was here for a purpose. All step of the way from a child. And I brought a lot of you into your purpose. That you finally realized. You had to realize it though. You could not fight against it. Against me or, or dislike me. It wouldn't work. It never will work and never have. In the history of mankind. Where there's no honor, there's no blessing. Amen. Amen. And all men fall and crumble, never reach their destiny, destiny, because of one thing, dishonor. Yeah. God, and I'm, I'm telling you these things slowly. I'm not preaching at you. I'm, I'm just trying to train you. The word of God is given by inspiration. Yes, sir. And we'll see what it's for. And we'll see what this book is for. This is a manual. Yes, sir. The army have a manual. The navy have a manual. This is a manual. You're supposed to study that manual. I know the rules. Everything has a rule. And God has placed his rule on the earth. Yes. And we're going to see where, why. What, for, for, what reason? What reason? Why don't God just let you do whatever you want to do, anytime you want to do, slap the captain? God is a God of order. Yes, Rem sir. Remember that. Yes. If you don't remember that, nothing else is a God of order. He put the heavens in order, the moon in order, the sun, the stars, everything in order, operating in order. In order. Yes, Nothing comes down from heaven unless it go up first. Prayer must go up to God. Water must go up to the clouds for the rain. Yes, everything, he's got it ordered. And how do you get all, how do, do, do it be ordered? It be ordered by this book. The steps you, you, you have people talking, religions talking, I'm filled with the spirit, I got the spirit, I'm filled with the, how are you going to get filled with, a, with, with something you don't see? This is what, you, this is the spirit. The word of God tells you that this word is spirit and it's life. You full, get full of that, get this here in you. And every situation you come against, you speak that word. You let that spirit come out of you and attack that thing. Which is the word of God. If you don't know it. I'm trying to go 
real, real good today. I want you to leave out here different what you came in. Here. And you can't do that unless you're subject. You can't have no negative. You can't be. You got to be subject to what is being said. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Period. Period. Read. This is in the book of Second Timothy, third chapter. starting with the 14th verse. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of. Learned, continue. Some of you people, like I said, have been preaching 50 years. Some of y'all have been 40, 30 years coming when you're young. And you continue. Some of you have continued in the things which you learned. And your life running the course of a good life. A good prosperous life. Not a bunch of chaos. And, and from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures. From a child. But listen carefully. Thou hast known the holy scriptures which are able to make thee wise unto salvation. What? Wait a minute. It's to, it's to do what? Make thee wise unto salvation through if, faith. It, it's to do what? Let's get it clear. Let's, let's, don't, let's get it clear. Make thee what wise. is for? To make thee wise. Make thee wise. Make thee wise. Make thee wise. Yes, Go ahead. Unto salvation. Unto salvation. The way to get saved from your wretched soul. Get your so wretched soul saved. Amen. And not end up in hell yes. burning with fire and brimstone forever. Amen. Now you might take it light. But God speaks a lot about this. He, hell is real. Yes, sir. Amen. Hell is real. That fire burning with brimstone never ends. Amen. The person never dies. Amen. Just burn, think they're dreaming. Oh, when is this going? Oh, forever. Forgotten by God and everybody. Amen. Yes, sir. Under salvation. That's what salvation is. To keep you from the place, to Teach you to love God and to know he's supreme. Yes, sir. He's the one made this earth. You didn't make this earth. You didn't make nothing. Amen. And show you how to be. But it'll, yes, it'll tell you what it's for. Go ahead. To make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. All scripture. All. All scripture. Yes, sir. Not some. All. To men of God. And as they wrote. He's making it clear, all scripture. It didn't come on his own. Amen. Amen. But what? All scripture is given by inspiration of God. Now, inspiration of God is the Holy Spirit, is God giving the information. Amen. Yes, sir. Leading. Leading. What to put there? Yes, sir. On paper. Then it on scrolls, on scrolls and leather and stuff. He had some way that had to get to us. Yes, sir. God had to get to us some kind of way. Yes, sir. Go ahead. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. By who? Inspiration of God. Me, I guess, me. It's given by my inspiration. inspiration People blame me for stuff. <laughs> if I preach a message, they get mad at me. I give the inspiration of God with either, and they, people get peeved off at me. I don't know, the old Jeff, this and that. He, all, he got to do this. Oh, boy, I tell you, 
There's going to be more folk burning in hell and wish a million times they'd listen and shut their mouth. Yes, sir. <laughs> Go ahead. And it's profitable. And it's profitable. Yes, sir. What, what do profitable mean? Beneficial. It's beneficial. Bless your life. Yes, sir. Beneficial. This book is beneficial. It's beneficial. It's the perfect manual. <laughs> perfect manual to life. I'm not going to say life only. Perfect manual to life, prosperity, wealth, health, marriage, raising children. Get along with people. Yes, treat people right. Yes, I mean, it's, it's a perfect manual yes, in here. Perfect. Amen. Who wants to hear this stuff, though? This stuff have too much demand on your life, and you can't do what you want to do. <laughs> you can't spit in somebody's face and, and say ain't nothing wrong with it. You can't shoot somebody and say, I ain't nothing wrong with that. Because yeah, this don't permit it. See? Go ahead. And it's profitable for doctrine. For for do what does doctrine mean? Teaching and instruction. God gave it for teaching. Yes, sir. And he didn't give everybody. He didn't give, every, he didn't give it to everybody. Everybody can't teach. Amen. God ain't playing. He mean business. And you got to know he mean business. He put a book here for us to go by. Yes, sir. And he's not going to change his mind. You're not going to change his mind. Well, this is me. I, I don't think, I, I don't see it that way, God. I don't care what way you see it. Yes. You do good to have eyes to see. Amen. Amen. Who do you think put the eyes in your head? You think it? He don't see you. Amen. Go ahead. All scriptures given by inspiration of God. Don't forget that. Yes, don't forget that. Amen. Amen. Inspiration. Yes, sir. God moving. Yes, sir. Okay. And Good. is profitable for doctrine, teaching, for reproof. Repro reproof. Let's get that done. What we feel for you? Correction. 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 Who? Dogs? People. Cats. Saints. Cats. Huh? Grown people? Cor correct. Yes, sir. Grown people? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Put people on the right path. Uh, inspiring people to change lifestyle. To do. Oh, oh. To, to repent from turn, turning from their own ways to the way of God. Oh. And correction in their life. Oh, that's. Yes, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. Okay. So that's what God got it for. I, I want to know why he give us this book. Okay. Yes, sir. For correction. Oh, what? Yes, sir. For correction? Correction. Yes, sir. What do correction mean? Somebody should tell us. Some of you men, uh, brothers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Help me out. Help us yes, out. To correct, to correct somebody means to put them on the right path. Sir, toward knowing what they should do and to show them what is wrong. Go ahead. For we, instruction we, for in what? righteousness. I'm trying my best to get find out what this, what this book of I'm tired, tired of people acting crazy. For what now? For instruction in righteousness. Instruction. Let's, let's break it down now. Instruction in wrongness. Righteousness. What do righteousness mean? Somebody? Yes, sir. It means to have a life of faith that will uh, cause you to live a good life in the sight of God. Just doing those things that God is pleased with. And that's the only life. Yes, sir. Everything else is dead. Yes, sir. 
And you can fix it any way you want to fix it. Twist it, doing it, twist it, but this and but that, and God knows. He understands me. He knows my heart. You talk all you can do anything you want to. But if you think God's going to change his mind, not one iota, or not one wink. I'm trying to find out what to, I'm trying to find out what this book is about. Yes, sir. Amen. I'm am I'm, because I'm, I'm involved in it. Amen. Yes, sir. I've been persecuted by it. I've lost a lot because of it. I've lost a lot, but I gained a lot. I lost a lot of a lot of folks, a lot of people that I like pretty good, kin folk. I, I've lost a lot, but because of this book. I want to know what this, what this is all about. Amen. Go ahead. That the man of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. People, period. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead. May be perfect. 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 Yes, sir. Ain't nobody perfect. Say what you want to say. You got to have an understanding. I'm trying to give, get an understanding myself. Yes, I'm trying to give yes, you an understanding. Yes, sir. Somewhere it says that you'd be perfect wanting nothing. Yes, sir. Yes, get sir. that together. Yes, sir. Let's see. Go ahead. That the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished. Perfect, perfect. Perfect. Thoroughly. What do third? I'm getting every, every word yes, where it won't be no problem no more. Won't be no problem with you, me, because I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. I said, why am I pre? Why am I doing this? Go ahead. Yes, sir. That yes, the man ready. of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto uh, all thoroughly, good works. Thoroughly furnished. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. This book will furnish you yes, thoroughly. Amen. Furnish you thoroughly. Furnish you with what? Unto all. All good, good works. I like what Varn said. They don't do nothing right and don't want to do nothing right, don't want to obey the word of God. And then when you try to tell them and show them, they try to show you a <laughs> grace card. They put it out of their pocket. Grace. <laughs> Just a fallout, cop out, irresponsible. Go ahead, brother. This is in the book of James. Book of James. First chapter, second verse. My brethren, count it all joy. Now, brethren, sister, this book is talking to you. It's been given by the inspiration of God. And what it say is stand true. And I can preach it and, and fear not. What did it say? Count it all joy. Count it all joy. When ye fall into divers temptations. When you fall in divers temptations. But you got to know thing. You got to know whether it's a temptation. Or the work of the devil. Spirit. Or what? Trial? Yes, sir. Trial. And you got to treat each one. Trial, you got to know if it's a trial or not. If it's temptation, you got to know whether it's a temptation or not. If it's the devil just working something on you, you got to know what that is. You got to know. And then you know what, how to treat it. You know how to get, how to deal with it from the book. Go ahead. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith. So you got it. Now we see here. It's trying. This is trying of your faith. Yes, Just going to see what you got. Yes, sir. You say, oh, I love God the Lord. Yes, sir. I do. Uh, and a child come up. <laughs> I've seen more people turn on God and act crazy, say things because of the trials they have. 
And they want to know, I don't know why God don't fix it or why he let that happen to me or let that happen to them or them. I'll see more people go off the other end. But it's telling you about it. Knowing when this. Appear, yes, sir. When it's appear in your life, try, go ahead. That the trying of your faith. The, what is it? The trying. What is that doing? Trying my faith. Trying. What is that doing? Trying, trying of your faith. Yes, Do you have faith in God? Do you trust him? That's what it means. Do you trust God in the situation? Do you trust God in the situation? Can I say it again? Do you trust God in the situation, no matter what it is? You find it out, it ain't a trick of the devil. You ain't this, it ain't this. It's a trying of your faith. So. You claim to have faith in God. I trust the Lord. Then bam, there come a giant. <laughs> that come a lie, a, 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 a giant. Do I really do I really trust the Lord? I don't see why he let me go through. Instead of trusting him, praising him, start complaining. Mad. Yes, Angry. Don't know why he did let this happen. Angry with God. Blame God for everything. This is, and God only let it happen to bring you higher. To push you out. Push you out. Push you out. Let your face. The bigger your career, bigger your the bigger trials you have. But let patience have her perfect work. Let, let her now. Now you can disturb it. You can get in the way. Yes, sir. You can get in the way. What many have. Yes, sir. Supposed to let it have a perfect work. It's got to uh, work with you. It's, it's got a perfect work. To make something happen for you. Not bad. God wants to lift you up. Yes. Bring you high to your highest potential. Yes. Who you can be. Who are. Yes. To your highest. He's not trying to crush you. If you crush. If you be crushed you crush yourself. But let patience. Patience. Have her perfect work. She's working on you. Pushing you out of the room. Pushing you. You might be straight. You might say, whoa, oh, God for saying God is trying. What, what, you know, like, the, like the baby was, was saying, you think it was saying, what's happening? I've been in the cuddles all my life. And now she's trying to push me out in the cold. <laughs> 